Hi there, my name is Bernardo Scaramboni and I teach at Eastern Kentucky University here in Richmond, Kentucky. When Luis asked me to be part of this group and create a presentation in Latin American music for the, for the Francis Clark uh, Center, I was really excited. Brazilian composers had made enormous contributions to the pedagogical repertoire. And I was already planning how many composers are going to talk, how many pieces from each one of them. And then he told me that I had 10 minutes to do it. So I started thinking, what kind of pedagogical repertoire can I present in 10 minutes that is significant and important enough to represent Brazilian music and also uh, um, provide value to piano teachers everywhere. After a while, uh, the answer came to me. The Sweet Bonecas Dolls by Lorenzo Fernandes. This is a suite in five pieces that is a staple in Brazilian pedagogical repertoire. Each piece evokes musical characteristics of a different country. We have Spain with a dançarina espanhola. We have Portugal, a pastorinha portuguesa. Italy with a camponesa italiana. Then we have Russia with a lenhadora russa. And Brazil with a baianinha das cocadas. Oscar Lorenzo Fernandes. He is considered one of the main composers of Brazilian music and together with Villa Lobos helped to establish the nationalistic movement in Brazil. This collection of five pieces has a great pedagogical value with an interesting approach. Fernandes places the pianist's hands in one single position throughout the entire movement. Each finger has only one note to play and one note only throughout the entire piece. By locking the hands in one position Fernandes eliminates, the, right from the beginning, a common source of preoccupation in a beginner student, finding the right notes to play. This approach frees the student and the teacher to concentrate on articulations, dynamics, rhythmic figurations, tempo, etc. But that doesn't mean the pieces are super simple, super easy, because on the other side of it, with rhythms, dynamics, articulation, expression marks, tempi. He makes those pieces extremely interesting. Very, uh, a very interesting footnote that Lorenzo Fernandes put into every single movement. He wrote, a teacher should always encourage students to improvise rhythms with separate hands using the notes of the music. This way Fernandes is making sure the students are very comfortable with their hand position, boosting their confidence to just worry about the other aspects of the music besides the notes. A Dançarina Espanhola, or the Spanish Dancer. The first piece of this suite is based on an ostinato rhythm on the left hand that imitates a Spanish guitar strumming. A Pastorinha Portuguesa, the Portuguese Shepherdess. Similar to the first piece, the composer presents an ostinato left hand, in this case with a held bass and those thirds on the left hand and eventually chords. Dynamics and expression marks are prominent to help the student to create the proper atmosphere for the piece. The midsection presents an almost counterpoint texture with the left hand carrying the melody as well. Special attention 
to the balance and legato on the right hand. Camponesa Italiana, the Italian peasant. Here, Fernandes brings the typical Tarantella approach in a lively piece. The left hand is responsible for the accompaniment and constant movement, while the right hand presents the melody. Eight rests, short energetic chords, and a very exciting ending makes this one of the favorites among students. Dora Russa, the Russian lumberjack girl. This piece receives a more counterpoint approach, with the main melody on the left hand. The midsection is more descriptive, imitating the sound of a lumberjack cutting a tree. A Baianinha das Cocadas. Okay, uh, translation here is really hard, but we'll try. Um, Baiana is a native of Bahia, a state in the northeast Brazil. Cocada, it's an amazing dessert, amazing sweet dessert made out of coconut and condensed milk. So, very loosely translating, A Baianinha das Cocadas could be translated as the coconut candy girl from Bahia. The piece has perhaps the most complex rhythm for the set and presents an extra difficulty because of the fast tempo with the repeated notes in both hands. The festive atmosphere evokes a street vendor singing while announcing her sweets for sale. As you can see, the student has a lot to think about, and that is actually the point of these pieces. Make them think about everything else besides the notes. <laughs> 